Troy McDonald. Thank you, Marcus. I also want to acknowledge the Wurundjeri people and the Wurrung people um, nation today, and uh, I pay, want to pay my respects to all elders, past and present, and also want to acknowledge my colleagues in this chamber today. Um, I know what you stand for, and I um, am looking forward to working with everyone. I want to acknowledge um, all those Gunai Kurnai people that supported me in this role, and I'll be further grateful um, for that, and will represent the Gunai Kurnai with integrity, honesty, and with a strong values base behind it. The first, um, before I go on, um, I was crafted in a cauldron of a very political environment, and I want to really acknowledge my mother that's sitting up there in, in the chamber. Uh, thank you for everything, Mum. You kept me on track. I'm, I'm very lucky to be this deep in the journey and still have my mother. So, and I also want to acknowledge my, my daughter who's always testing and adjusting my thought processes as well. <laughs> and my wife, Sonia, who couldn't be here today. The First People's Assembly of Victoria wrote the book on treaty. The second iteration of the First People's Assembly Victoria gets to craft the next volume. And I am proud to be a part of a united, sovereign Aboriginal political movement. That said, this movement still needs work. And, uh, and that's been touched on earlier today by, others, by um, Uncle Gary. What's the narrative we want to create? Well, I suggest if we do what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always got. This is the political opportunity to change the prevailing narrative, and this chamber is the political instrument and movement to alter that narrative. Whilst this movement is embedded in social justice and self-determination, our job is, in, is to interrogate systems and address processes that lead to and sustain uh, systemic disadvantage and penetrate them and destroy them where we can. We come to get together here, not from a deficit approach, but from a strength-based approach. From a personal perspective, that strength is amplified by all of us in this room today and the people that have got our back out there in the community. Furthermore, that strength is validated, again, by the important roles the community has entrusted us with. Finally, the First People Assembly Victoria and its work shall be a legacy piece that puts all of those that came before us, well before us, those debates in kitchens, in the backyards around Victoria. That's what we're representing and that's what we're activating. And I will do my utmost best to honour all that work that happened on riverbanks, backyards, kitchens, football clubs, netball clubs, pubs to get us to where we are here today. Thank you, everyone.